Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. This is what I call a mini vlog. Mini vlog. It's just a short one. It's an update, really. It's around the Frugal Bond moment, and it's the Quantum of Solace cardigan that we love so much. This is the Frugal Bond version of the Tom Ford one that everybody's been looking for. And Daniel Love, Royal Filmware, you know him, you love him. You probably have a lot of pieces, but this first version of this came out and it was a huge hit. I mean, people really gravitate to it. Uh, the details were all there. If I can just come up and even show you this one. Uh, all of the details, the ribbing, uh, the looks of the button. I mean, everything was just really on point. But you know something? One of the things that Daniel likes to do is to constantly approve. So I am holding version two. And the reason I'm, I'm wearing this just simple V-neck is so you can really see the sweater itself. So I am going to first read you the details of this uh, because the first one some people found it a little bit on the short side that it was a little bit too cropped some of the arms etc so here it is first of all this shawl collar is a much closer fit and sits very snug around and up around the neck and you're going to see that this was done by reducing the neck size overall and reducing the outer circumference of the shawl collar and everybody really likes that because one of the things that they found was you don't want slouch with this. And I'm going to try this on because as I speak through these things, it occurred to me, you may want to see what the hell I'm talking about. But obviously, let's take the Tom Ford one that we see in the movie. That was tailored specifically for Daniel Craig. So it fits him like a glove because, you know, Bond's no slouch. So we're just going to throw this on real quick. We'll button everything up and I'll come in a little bit close so you could see some of these details here. Um, we got the ring light on so you could see hopefully some of these details, but you can notice right away that the ribbing and everything is just all there. Um, look at the arms. I mean, really perfect arms. Uh, oh, quantum. Hello. Um, but the color, uh, the way it sits high on the neck and very close to the body, you can see. And I'm just going to pull back for a second so you can see where it meets the pants down here. It is not riding up high. I know some of you were saying that the first version rode up a little bit on the high side. You can see this is not riding up on the high side at all. Let's take a look at the back like we normally do. Right, so you can see that it's not puckering in too much. It's got a very nice close fit. I'll stand to the side so you can see the side. So what's happening now is that it doesn't look like it's spray painted on, okay? It doesn't also, doesn't, doesn't look like a grandfather kind of slouching, falling over. It looks like it's tailored. The pockets are staying uh, nice and high and very close to the body. You can see that the way it V's in, but it's not too much. It's still got a little bit of give, but let's continue on. So the zigzag stitching over the shoulder, let's take a look at that as I read this, has now been extended a bit further down the back and should perfectly match the original as it blends seamlessly into the rib knit. This is noticeable when the cardigan is laid flat and the zigzag stick extends about two inches further down the back than the front. The black leather buttons, Let's take a look at those. Sorry if you can't get up close. The black leather buttons are now high gloss instead of matte black leather like they were before. Again, little details to get it even more perfected. And the fit should now perfectly match the original as the back length and sleeves are now nearly an inch longer. This is what I was talking about before. So you can see that it's not bunching up too much on here, but it does give a little bit of give just like in the movie, but the sleeves still hit perfectly. They don't slouch down. So it's even though it's an inch longer, it's not slouching down. Some people found when they went like that, that the sleeves were too short on version one. Same with the length. They found that the length was just a hair bit uh, too short before that they would go like this and it would ride up and they would show a lot of shirt. Not anymore. Now that it's an inch longer, it really hits perfectly. Even somebody with my challenged height. Um, so there was a few people that this was an issue for in the first and second version. Um, and that reminds me when I say version one, version two, uh, there's been multiple versions of this. So this is version three, let's call it maybe two plus two L, whatever you want to call it. Um, so anyway, I just had to give you a quick review of this because again, it is that whole 
zeal for perfection. We think we have it right. And as usual, um, just as a consideration for Daniel, uh, you can go into Royal Filmware. There's the website right there so you can see it and get one of these just in time because guess what? Thankfully, this heat is starting to part with. It's like 62 degrees out today. Yay! And winter's coming. So this is a really nice piece for your winter collection. Anyway, this is a quick one for a mini vlog. David Zaritsky talking about the frugal bond moment around Quantum of Solace. And we will talk to you very soon. Take care. Oh, hey, you're still here. Hi. Didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor. Move.